Hey guys, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. So let's let's put up some, up some music. Whoa. Um. Radio New Vegas, Mojave Music Radio. Uh. Damn it! Now I don't know which one of this. I think this one is the modded one. Radio New Vegas, Mojave Radio. I hope it's this one that doesn't have the um, copyright stuff. And let's start exploring. Let's see what this game has to offer us. Um, we have a weapon equipped? Yes, we have. The shotgun. This is to look down. Oh, this only does first person view and third person view. Hmm. Maybe I equip a pistol. Oh, wait, it said we can cycle. So one, two, three, four, five doesn't do anything. We could cycle the ammunition here with the two. But I think I'd rather equip a 9mm uh, pistol for now. And um, weapons 11 damage. And this one 46 damage. A weathered 10mm pistol. I think this one was from the DLC, I suppose. So I will use this one for now. How do I put it away? Uh, nope. Nope. I don't want to be walking around with the weapon the whole time. Uh, wait, nope. Shift, control, alt, nope. Huh. I want to put the weapon away. Oh, F1 goes to the pit boy also. F3 also, F2 also. Huh. Um, let's see. Uh, what? No, that's not action mapping. Yeah. Um, ready reload. R to reload. Grab. Let's auto move. Always run, run, sneak. Sneak is left control. Ready reload. Maybe it's R? No. Huh. Do I have to unequip it here? I don't want to be with my fists out. Ah, like this. Now I equip the weapon. Okay. So what is this? It's a gas station. Hmm. Where do I have to go? I have some objectives. Um, quests. Oh, okay. Back in the saddle. Prospector Saloon. So over there, it seems. The radio is pretty loud. Can I turn the volume down? Settings. Audio. Radio. Like this. I just want some background music. So, this seems to be okay. Maybe I turn it out, down for now, off for now. Okay. 
listen to the sounds of the game. Let's go to the saloon. General store and food. I heard some noises. Maybe it was the birds. Let's go to the saloon. Hi dude, who are you? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? He doesn't even know who I am, probably. Why are you called Easy Pete? Do you know anything about Victor? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Okay. Goodbye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Okay, good to know. Thanks, dude. Let's see. What the hell? Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Okay, you are sunny. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest, suggest a route? I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. What do you do around here? Let's talk about the areas around Good Springs. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. What else? No one working here? Flashy error on your compass shows location of your objective. Ah, over there. Okay. Oh yeah, this is turned off. So the mod seems to be working. Good to know. This is all stealing, so we won't be doing that. What's this? Ladies' bathroom? <laughs> wow. Ladies' bathroom looks like this. The man's bathroom looks like this. Okay. Good to know. Who are you? Settler. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Looks like it. He took my face apart and put it back together, so he probably knows some stuff. You take a sip from your trusty vault. 13 can heal. Where can I see this drink and food stuff? I'm always taking a sip, but I don't know. General. R. Reputation. Neutral drifter. People killed. Quest completed. Blah blah blah. Okay. Status. Effects. No status effects. But where do I see this food and drink stuff? He's always drinking some stuff. So it seems to be some kind of important. Well, we will see. If I lose my canteen. If something happens. So, meet her behind the saloon. There she is. Hey, girl. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? No. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, there. Take what? Fire weapon push mouse one. What did she give me? Barman rifle. Okay. Oh, damn. That's the right idea. Look down. Try crouching down and staying safe. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. 
I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay. I think I have learned enough now. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. <coughs> okay, and using this weapon, I suppose. Condition is not that good anymore. But we can repair it. Probably. Why is she always stopping? Is she getting tired or something? Uh, what the hell? What is this? Uh, get away. How did I, why did that happen? Was it control? No. Hm. Okay. Sorry guys, I don't know why that happened. Yeah, I think this this Epic Store thing was always showing up before also when I test started the game. Always a screen like if it wanted to share my information that I'm online or something like that. I don't use Epic launcher too much. I usually use Steam. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More okay. likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Crouch. Follow sun. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Am I still crouching? Yes, I am. Where are they? Over there. Enter Vats, push V. Okay. Welcome to the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. Displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Mouse 1, attack your target. Mouse 2, cancel an attack. E, accept your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. Okay. Oh, damn. Uh, the chances are a little bit better here, but not that good. Whoops. Uh, no. Aha, damn it. I want to go out of that. Did I cancel that? What the hell? Uh... Hello? Ah, I cancelled it with E. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. Come on! No. Headshot. And accept. Ah, I hit him. One hit it seems. Next gecko, where is he? There was another one, at least. There was at least one more. I'm hearing him. I think. The sounds are quite loud also. I hope it's not too loud in the recording. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Should sure, take more than not? a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me.
Reload. Can we loot these things? Is there anything in them? Gecko hide, gecko meat. Big roll. Where did she go? Huh? Where is she? What the hell? There she is. Who's she shooting at? That's no geckos. What the hell? Howdy. Kill the geckos at the other wells. Talk to Sunny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. 50 caps, nice. I might nice. teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me and we'll get cooking. Okay. Xander root and Brock flower. Gecko stuff. What else is here? Zero rats, nice. Take it all. Where is she going? This is not the way back to town. You take a sip from your vault canteen. Uh, empty whiskey bottle. They are all empty. Damn it. Shame. Large whiskey bottle. This one still has stuff in it. What's she doing here? Is she going to camp out here? Um. Why do we have two markers on the map? Ah, yeah, of course. Um, you have to find both those things. Rock flowers and sander root. There's another camping spot. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna change to my pistol. Okay. Ah, you... You hold it down to holster it. Okay, good to know. Um, we are going this way. over here. Crash. Anything in here? Nope. Not really. Have I looted you? Yes, I have. Who is this dude? Good Spring Settler. Let's see if you have something to say. 
Hello? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Three purified, purified waters. Nice. You have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland and you can develop a distinguished reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from higher tugs, or simply be treated differently. <coughs> Though you will initially start out with a neutral reputation with any given faction, your fame and infamy will eventually push your reputation in different directions. You can see all of your current reputations under the general section of your pip boy Good reputation. Smiling troublemaker, some good, a little bad. Good nat natured rascal, good, a little bad. Accepted, some good, liked, definitely good, idolized, most good. Mixed reputations, more bad than good, more good than bad, some good, some bad. Good and bad, most good, most bad. Bad reputations. Sneering punk, merciful tug. Shunned, hated, and vilified. Okay. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature in Good Springs. Okay. And I got some water from it. It's nice. Empty. That's not so nice. Let's see. Hey, dude. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Ah, this is the guy that found me. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Nice. I have never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. <laughs> Goodbye. Happy trails! Okay. This guy got some software upgrade, I suppose. To a cowboy. <laughs> Maybe some DLC. So, is this the schoolhouse? There are enemies. I can't see them with what? Ah, there they are. Giant mantis. Okay. Uh. How did I interrupt this with E? Yes. Oh, dude. What are you? You are quite big. Ah, this is probably one of those big horns he talked about. Yeah, young big horn. Wow, this is a young one. I don't want to see an adult one. At least not if it's mad. <coughs> so this is the schoolhouse, yes? Just the plant? Hey, damn it. Hey dude, what you doing? Hey. not hitting them. 
Ah, hit both of them, nice. But they hurt me already. Um, is this the plant I need? Doesn't look like it. Is this it? Not. Hmm. I would think that would have been it, but doesn't seem like it. Maybe these ones on the ground? Yeah, no, this is jalapeno. Okay. Huh. Didn't she say in the school? Oh, maybe inside. Yeah, probably inside. Okay, let's go inside. Mantis down. There are probably some more. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Damn it. Probably a melee weapon would be better at this point. Is the, the death cam like a sign that there's no enemies more around? Maybe. Empty, empty, empty. Let's just take everything for now. You need lockpick 25. And science skill 25. Okay, I don't seem to have any of those. Bottle caps, always nice. More bottle caps, nothing there. Empty. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. So, where is that plant I need? Cherry bombs and ashtrays in the school. Always nice to see. Baseball glove, anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Empty Nuka Kula. Detergent. Cleaner. I will just take everything for now because many of these things are good for crafting. So where is the damn plant I need? Isn't he, it's even inside here? What the hell? Oh, damn it, it's right here. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> and I was running around inside. Totally didn't see that. That bit will be hard to find. Like in the wild. Let's focus some crafting. Really have to pay attention to your surroundings, it seems. So what was the other thing? 
Was it at a cemetery, she said? I don't quite remember. Oh, like, is this like corn? Yeah. But it's stealing, so none of that for us right now, at least. While we are still... What is that? Ooh. Nope. No hits. They are quite fast. Yeah, nice. Oh, we're already out of ammo for this weapon. That's bad. Um, well, suppose we are going to use this one a lot more. Uh, where was H? Um, where was the thing that helps? Wonder crew. Was more well like a weaponry package. Eight probably, yes, yes. So let's see now. Yeah, nice. Condition is a lot a lot better already. I guess we are going to use this one quite a lot. For now. What the hell? These are enemies? Looks like it. There's a lot of them. Let's see. <laughs> oh, they are small. The chances of hitting are not very high. Oh, no. Hmm. One down. Yeah, hello, Cam. Damn it. Yeah, not easy to hit. Okay, so somewhere here should be the plants we need. Not this one. What the hell? Oh, this is my grave. Yes? Looks like it. Distinctive cigarette butt. You more. Empty bottles. Q. 
keep out. Count Abraham Jefferson the <laughs> third. What's this? Snow globe, good springs. I know I'm not taking this. What's this? Ricky pear fruit. Barrel cactus fruit for your tobacco chew. Open the grave? What the hell? Here lies Verl. We can open the graves. What the hell? Not right now. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. So, let's get back to the saloon, I suppose. Or where were we supposed to meet with her? Oh no, it doesn't seem to be at the saloon. <coughs> Let me see how much I am I carrying right now. Wait, 126 of 210. So we can carry quite a lot, I suppose. So she stayed at that campsite, I guess. What is that little arrow for there? In the, on the compass, there's a little arrow under SE. And it's moving. Maybe some point of interest or something. What's that over there? That's like a big town or something. What the hell? Or like... Looks like a, a, a fair, fair ride or something. Yeah, but a town, maybe? Huh, okay. Probably, probably we're going... We'll be going over there soon, because it seems to be quite close to here. And there is another arrow. This one is filled out. Maybe it's just locations that you can uncover, because we uncovered the location down here. Before the Good Springs Well, or what it was. So, she should be right here. What's he barking at? Well, she doesn't seem to mind. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Yeah? Activate campfire. Gecko steak. Red plus one, HP plus three for 15 seconds. Okay. Made at campfire. Skill requirement survival. 25 ingredients gecko meat. Survival 40. Science. Survival. 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 Okay. Most of it is made with survival. Minus one perception, plus one HP for 18 seconds. Let's do one. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Okay. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well... I hope that's enough to get you started. Okay. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. 
She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. So let's do that. Oops. Sorry. Let's go back to town with her. Oh, damn it. I'm at 40 minutes already. So let's get back to town with her and then we will end this part. Hey there. Yeah, let's go to town. Come on. <coughs> yeah, so crafting seems to be pretty easy. Just need to find the spot where to do it. And have the ingredients and the skill. No guessing, I suppose. Or like uh, having to mix stuff randomly to see what happens. Um, but nice that food and stuff like that heals. The water in my canteen seems to be infinite. I suppose. Because I've been drinking from it for quite some time. Oh, it's over this way. Okay, sorry. Or is she just going the long way around? I suppose she's going the same way we came. They have three wells right here for this little town. I don't know how much how many people live there, but it seems to have like five or six houses only, so I don't suppose there's too many. The graphics and stuff in the game aren't too bad, I suppose. I mean, it's not a, a actual game from like the last few years, it's quite old. But it doesn't look too bad to me. I mean, I've played Fallout 3 a lot, so maybe that's Never why. Gets old when something blows up. What the hell? Who are you, dude? You look weird. Oh, the gang. What kind of powder? Explosive powder? Yeah, probably because he said it's nice but stuff blows up. Could be another type of powder also that gangs like a lot. <coughs> so we are almost back, it seems. You take a sip of your vault canteen. I, I have to try hmm, getting rid of the canteen to see if something happens. Let's put on some music. Saloon looks nice, nice at night. And up there is that dog's house? Yeah, I suppose that is. 
But that's the only illuminated buildings. So is there a lot more people around? Or they just don't have electricity? Just this in the post-apocalypse. It's probably pretty expensive to have this running. All these lights and stuff. But I mean Doc has a lot of light also. And doesn't seem to make a big difference. Maybe we are in the desert, so probably um, solar panels, I would guess. Oh, some nice bikes here at the door. I didn't even notice it before. Oh, they look quite cool. So guys, next time we will continue right here. Go into the saloon and have a drink. So, Hope you guys enjoyed and see you back here next time for some more. Bye.